Hi and thank you for joining me. Today we are looking at entry level functional skills maths and we are going to consider how we need to use lists. I'm sure there are various kinds of lists that you are already familiar with. For instance, if you are going to the supermarket, you might decide to make a shopping list to remind you of all the things that you need. You might also have seen that some businesses and shops, such as the car wash here, provide a list of all the services they provide and the prices. So what a list does is provide you with information. In this case, the information is the list of services and the prices. Now we do have another word for information and it's one you are likely to see more commonly in maths and that word is data. And one thing we need to be able to do is to know how to use the data in a list. So let's have a look at another table. Today we are going to the furniture shop and we need to buy a dining table, four dining chairs and we also want a bookcase. So we need to look at the data in the table to find out what our total cost is going to be. Well, a dining table is £150. We want four dining chairs, so those are listed as £30 each and we also want the bookcase at £45. Now, if we add all our costs up, our total for all the items we need is £315. But we need to make sure that we look at all the information, all the data on the table, because at the bottom here, we have a delivery charge. Therefore, if we are having the furniture delivered, we need to add another £20 onto there, so our total cost is in fact £335. Let's have a look then at another list. This one is showing cars in the staff car park and we have them listed in colour. So there may be questions you are asked about a list like this, such as which is the most popular colour of car in the car park? This means you need to look at the list, find the highest number, which in this case is 25, so the most popular colour is a silver car. You may get asked a question such as how many more red cars are there than green? So you need to look at the data. Red cars, we have 18. Green, there are four. So if we take one away from the other, there are 14 more red cars than green. So as we've seen, lists can contain all kinds of information or data. What is important is that we know how to use the data to find the answer to a question. I hope that has been useful. If it has, please subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the notifications button, you'll get to hear about any new videos I bring out. Hopefully I'll see you again. Thank you.